Okay, so prefacing this a little bit before we get into the real meat and potatoes of the video, my work had sent myself and three other guys out to California to cover a off-roading event near Joshua Tree National Park, about 45 minutes north in Johnson Valley, California. So we got a flight from Milwaukee to Dallas and then Dallas to Ontario, California. So after a whole day of traveling, two flights, uh, we finally landed and got our rental, which was a 2022 Ford Bronco, which was actually pretty sick. So we drove that from the airport to the Airbnb. At this point, I think it was like 11 p.m. or midnight. Uh, so we just kind of scoped it out quick and then threw our bags in and pretty much passed out. Home sweet home. My parents oh. have one that's really nice. It's a hey house. Hey house. Hey house. The next morning was the first actual day, uh, day one being total travel, day two being the first day of actually being at the event and filming. In the morning I kind of scoped out the Airbnb, checked out outside because when we arrived it was dark so I didn't get to see pretty much anything, any of the landscape or anything. I was definitely surprised at how much sand there was. I mean, I didn't think it'd be quite this deserty. Ironically enough, I was playing Fallout New Vegas a couple weeks ago, and the setting is almost identical. So we got all of our bags packed up, loaded up the Bronco, and headed to a gas station to get some snacks, because once we were out there, it was one of those things where you either pay the 20 to $25 for the food truck meals you get, or nothing. So we finally got there after going over some dirt roads and thankfully totally avoiding a like three or four hour line by taking a back route dirt road on the side. So the getting little portion here, we're just trying to get our uh, grasp of the whole area, uh, where the racetracks are, where the vendors are, where the race teams are, etc. Yeah, I know, it's like, oh, it's so slow. We eventually made our way over to some of the tire vendors, which is what we're actually here for for work to film, was a lot of these off-road based vendors that offer specific products for off-roading rigs. After we wrapped up there, we kept making our way uh, down to different tents and found this pretty interesting Halo Infinite Jeep Gladiator build and then this old, I think it's a Model T off-road build. And then we also found this huge like Unimog looking thing that Toyo Tires had and just tons of really interesting uh, off-road vehicles, tons of custom built brand new vehicles with a slew of mods and obviously they're just very expensive and kind of like unrealistic for consumers but it was super interesting to see all these vendor sponsored and like huge company paid for rigs but the variety of rigs out there was just insane so at that point we then drove to one of the actual racing checkpoints and we saw this dude get stuck I literally just watched that happen. Thankfully, most of the spectators obviously have nice 4x4 rigs, so someone just pulled him out and he's good to go. So then we made our way to a different rock formation that was actually open to the public at this point. It was called Chocolate Thunder. Kind of interesting name. This we ended up staying a lot longer at and was more of a rock crawling formation, which means people build specific machines with huge tires to climb up these like vertical, sharp, jagged rock formations. This is the first time I've ever seen any custom built rigs or anything that's like this capable. All the stuff I've done with my Forerunner has just been mostly like camping and overlanding. So to see this was pretty insane. 
in addition to that, it was really interesting to see the amount of people that came out and were like, you know, just super hyped to see people uh, crawl over some of these rock formations. And yeah, I, I was just really surprised that the the subculture, specifically with uh, like this niche of off-roading, was that big. Oh, and right here we actually saw a pretty much overlanding, like camping built Tacoma, uh, giving its guts on this big ass rock. And it actually did make it. The amount of extra camping weight this dude had for just like no reason was actually pretty ridiculous, but funny. <laughs> So we stayed here and watched guys send their rigs up here for the next couple hours and I snagged some photos on my Contax T2 as the lighting was honestly just getting perfect during golden hour. As the other guys and I were pretty much exhausted from being there the whole day, we Wrapped up the day, headed back to the Airbnb, and again, just pretty much passed out. The next morning I woke up early and made some tea and walked outside, and today was actually the warmest day of the whole trip, so I could wear shorts and uh, didn't have to wear a hoodie all day, so that was really nice because I accidentally had planned for it to be, or I mean packed to be, like 70s out, and sadly I was mistaken. So we headed back out to Johnson Valley and met up with the second tire vendor. These guys were getting their Jeep wheels and tires all finalized and put together and then mounting them onto the Jeep. While we were standing there, I overheard that we were going to potentially be able to take out uh, one or some of the Broncos the next day, which was super exciting. And Zach and I, the other video guy, were obviously super stoked to be able to get to film and take some photos of those. So we walked with Nick from Rockstar Garage to another uh, built out pre runner style vehicle. Then we got a quick ride over to their compound where they actually have most of their other vehicles and waited there for one of the other main marketing guys to figure out our plan with the Broncos for either that day or the next day. It was still up in the air at this point, uh, so we were sitting there waiting. So an hour or two passed and then we actually headed up to a different rock formation at night where a ton of people gathered to, I believe it was actually part of an official race for the event, unlike the rock crawling you saw in the clips from last night, which were just random people's vehicles. This was specifically for a timed race event. So we watched a couple vehicles try to get up it. I don't think we actually saw any of them make it until the last vehicle at the very end. He did make it and then literally <laughs> it was pretty much just a mad dash to get back to your vehicle so you didn't have to wait in line for hours and hours. Thankfully we got back to our Bronco quickly enough and made it back to the Airbnb in good time and again because we were so exhausted just fell asleep right away. So we woke up early the next morning in preparation to be able to take out two of the Broncos and a built-up Tacoma. So we got all packed, packed our stuff up into the Bronco and made our way back to Johnson Valley for the third time. When we got there, we were told to take the Tacoma first while they finished up some other things on the two Broncos. Oh yeah. 
So we drove our Bronco and the Tacoma uh, east into Johnson Valley, about a mile away from the whole encampment and everyone, so we could get some nice media and press photos. The Tacoma is completely built up with front and rear bumpers, a roof rack, 35 inch tires, 17 by nine inch wheels, aftermarket tail and headlights, a rooftop tent all over it. It's, it's, it's pretty much a dream build for a Tacoma. It's something I would love to do to my 4Runner in this style, maybe without the wrap, but everything else on it is just very premium. Next up, we shot the brand new Bronco. So we brought the new Bronco back and got the older Bronco that is, again, completely custom built. This one's only a two door and obviously has a lot older amenities and technology in it. But I think if I had to decide between them, I think I would take the two door older one. It just has a lot more character. And I think you're gonna see a lot more built up new Broncos uh, in the coming years where seeing a nice, like pristine yet off-road capable built old bronco like this is going to be a lot harder to come by and i think it's going to be by like an older gentleman who his dad had one growing up or something so i think it's just a really really interesting build so we wrap that up and then we headed back to rockstar garages who hooked us up with the broncos their little garage tent thing and they were working on their big new rock crawler called gridlock i guess within the scene this is like a super uh famous build for being super capable and just being a really nice and premium rock crawling uh, build. So they took this gridlock Jeep build out to Chocolate Thunder uh, with one of the Jeeps that we saw earlier yesterday at the Mickey Thompson booth that they were working on. Some of the guys we went on the trip with were in this Jeep and ended up actually flipping over while they were in it. So thankfully everyone was safe and they just had to attach some of the winches to the undercarriage of the Jeep and flip it back over. Obviously since this is like the off-roading capital of the world, all these dudes know exactly what they're doing. So it only took like 5 to 10 minutes before uh, these guys were back right side up and driving away again. The Jeep did end up smashing the front windshield a little bit as you can see here and it did dent some of the frame, but that's what these guys love to do and that's what they're made for. We ended up staying there for probably another 10 minutes watching some other uh, people try to go up it and then met them back at the encampment and headed back to our Airbnb to call it a night after another long day. The next two days were kind of a wash. We drove back to Johnson Valley to meet up with some of the guys who gave us the Broncos, but the scheduling didn't really work out. And with there being no phone service, we had no way to contact them. So we waited around for a little bit and then headed back to the Airbnb to get some food and to start going through some of the footage and call it a day. The next day we headed into Johnson Valley later and just checked out some of the vendor booths and didn't really end up filming a whole bunch as we didn't have much on the schedule and there wasn't really many races going on. So there wasn't that much to film. The next day we headed back into Johnson Valley 
one last time as Ford was releasing their new Bronco Raptor, which is infusing obviously a Bronco and a Raptor with over 400 horsepower. I don't really know a ton about it or even the different trim levels on the Ford Bronco in general. I'm not really huge into Ford or that big of a Ford guy, but I can definitely see the appeal of having some more power behind it after being in our stock Bronco for a week. And I can imagine after you add some bigger tires to it and maybe a roof rack or some extra gear in the back that it definitely will slow down quite a bit. So I think Ford is taking uh, a step in the right direction because I do think that a lot of people are interested in modding these type of vehicles for more of a camping rig and obviously adding more weight to it will bog the engine down. So I definitely think it's an interesting concept and I'm interested to see what people will do with it in the future. So then the last day we actually got our flights canceled because we were flying into Dallas and at the time Dallas was having huge storms, quite a big blizzard which canceled a, a huge majority of the flights going in and out of there. So after a stressful day of trying to figure out new flights, we did eventually get a new flight and got back home. Before I outro, I wanted to make sure I included some of the best photos from some of my coworkers that they took during the trip. So that's gonna wrap it up for this video guys thank you so much for watching i'm really interested in doing more off-roading and overlanding especially overlanding style videos in the future taking my forerunner somewhere scenic and far away and capturing a lot of film photos of the whole process from sunrise landscapes cooking camping maybe bring my dirt bike out etc so if that's something that would be interesting to you definitely let me know down in the comments below otherwise stay on the lookout for more videos coming soon and until next time peace out Oh, 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 oh,